Hello, welcome to another video of Code Snippet. In this video, we are going to look into another simple yet very helpful service provided by AWS that is AWS SNS or Simple Notification Service. It's a fully managed notification service provided by AWS. Let's get started without wasting any time. This is going to be a fun video. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. All right, so let's quickly jump into the agenda of this particular video. So AWS SNS or simple notification service. Now we will quickly see what exactly is SNS. What is the problem it is trying to solve? After that, we will look into the key feature. We will see hands on demo and we will see some use cases of AWS SNS as well. So let's get started and let's look into what exactly is SNS. So let me go to canvas over here. Now, whenever a user is trying to withdraw some cash, so let's say this guy is trying to withdraw some cash. What I want to do? I want to send a user a message that you have withdrawn 1000 rupees. I also want to send an email to that user that dude, you have withdrawn 1000 rupees. Also, let's say bank has some other service. It's a fraud detection service. I also want to send a message to this service that, okay, dude, a thousand rupees is deducted from this guy's account. I want to do all these things. And these things are like notifying other services, right? Your message, your email, your other service. We are just notifying, right? Now, how we can do that? We can just go ahead and do that one by one. Send message to this guy, send my email to this guy and send API call to this guy. But it's a tedious process, right? We are just doing it one by one sequentially. In order to make it easy, AWS provides a notification service, right? So SNS. So what we can do, we can just put it over here. And this guy just put a notification over here that this guy withdrawn 1000 rupees. What SNS will do? It will just broadcast the same message to everyone, right? Now let's say this SNS has these three subscribers, right? So one, two, three subscribers. Now what this SNS will do? This will just take this message of 1000 rupees withdrawal and it will just broadcast the message to all its consumers, right? All its subscribers. It will just broadcast the message to all its subscribers. It will go to all the subscribers at once. So at the same time, you will get message at the same time, you will get email at the same time. You can do API call to your fraud detection system as well. So that is the beauty of your SNS, right? So these are basically the subscribers, let's say, and all the messages that this guy is getting from this guy will be broadcasted to all its consumers, right? So that is how your SNS works. Now let's go through the definition. So what is Amazon SQS? Amazon SNS is a fully managed messaging service that helps you to send messages or notifications from one place to many systems, right? Apps or users at the same times. Think of it as a megaphone, right? So you can just speak into megaphone and thousand people can listen to you, right? Your publisher, whoever is publishing will speak into it once. Everyone who has subscribed hears the message instantly. Right? So that is basically the beauty of it. So now what we can do, let's jump into AWS console, right? So this is my AWS console. I have logged in by using my root user. And what I will do, I will just go ahead over here and search for SNS, simple notification service. There we go. So we have Amazon simple notification service and it is a pub sub messaging for microservices and serverless applications. That means publisher subscriber. Amazon SNS is highly available, durable, secure, fully managed pub sub messaging service that enables you to decouple microservices, distributed systems and event driven serverless applications. Amazon SNS provides topics for high throughput push based. That means here we are pushing the messages many to many messaging, right? So can be many publishers, many subscribers, right? After that in SNS, there is something called as topic. So a topic is a messaging channel, right? So in SNS, we have a topic, which is a channel on which a publisher will publish and there will be a consumers for this particular topic. And this topic will publish the events to all the consumers. It will just broadcast the message to all its subscribers. So when you publish a message to a topic, it fans out the message to all the subscribed endpoints, right? It fans out it. That means it broadcasts the message to all the endpoints. Now here, what I can do, let's say my first topic and let's say next steps now here also you will see similar stuff that we have seen in the sqs video again it has first in first out and standard types right so 
you can have FIFO topic or you can have a standard topic. Again, the same thing FIFO will manage the message ordering. In the standard, the message ordering will not be honored. After that, you have name, after that, you have display name. It, in case if you want to send SMS, you can make use of this guy because it will be visible in the SMS message. After that, again, you have encryption, you have access policy, who can access. After that, you have data protection policy, you have delivery policy in case of HTTP. After that, you have login and you have tags, right? So, all these things are basically optional and you can make use of it. You can just go ahead and enable from here. You can just go ahead and define your access policy from here. That means who can publish, who can subscribe, right? All these things can be managed from here, right? So what I will do, I will just go ahead and create the topic. Now, if you see our topic is created. So if I scroll up over here, so my, so my first topic is created successfully. After that, you will see certain details about this particular topic. You will see the name, you will see the ARN, you will see the owner. I'm the owner basically. After that, you will see the type details as well. And here in the subscriptions, we don't really have any subscriptions. What we can do, we can just go ahead and create a subscription. Now here, if you see, this is basically the ARN of our topic. And if you see here, we have protocol, right? Now, if you see over here, we have many things over here. We have Amazon Kinesis, we have Amazon SQS. That means Amazon SQS, we can trigger from SNS. AWS Lambda, that means we can trigger a Lambda. Email, we can send an email. Email JSON, we can send an email in JSON format. HTTP, we can call a HTTP API. HTTPS, we can call a HTTPS API. We have platform application endpoint, we have SMS, right? So these many protocols we have. So let's select email from here, right? And what I will do, I'll just go ahead and give my email from here. So this is basically my email. After that, you also have option to filter your message. So subscription filter policy, you can filter your message as well. After that, you have redrive policy, that means that means it will just send undelivered messages to any other dead letter queue. You can also configure that. For now, what I will do, I'll just say create subscription. So now if you see the subscription is created over here. Now if I go inside subscriptions, you will see it says something called as pending confirmation. That means I will have to go into my email and I will have to confirm this submission, right? It will not happen in the air. Minimize it so that you can see. So it says it's pending confirmation to this email. And if you see over here, pending confirmation. So what I will do, I'll just go ahead and quickly log into my email. Let me log into my email over here. Let me bring it up over here. And you will see we have, I've received this AWS notification to subscribe, right? So it is asking me to confirm the subscription, right? So what I will do, I will just go ahead and click this URL. And it is giving me some kind of response like this. Let's go back to our AWS, let me try to refresh it over here. So now if you see once I refreshed, the status is changed to confirmed. That means our subscription is successful. Now what I will do, I will go to our topic. Let me go inside our topic. Now here you will see a subscriptions below. That means my email is subscribed over here. And what I will do, I will just try to publish a message. And here I will just add a message subject. Let's say test message after that. Group ID is optional, TTL is optional. What I will do, I'll just add a message over here saying hello from AWS SNS. After that, here you can select message attributes that let you provide structured metadata items, right? So if you want to provide in, let's say numbers or array format, you can do over here. For now, what I'll do, I'll just say publish message. Now here after that, if you see, I have received this message saying test message. And here I'm getting notification. Here I'm getting the message that I've sent from there saying hello from SNS. If I want to unsubscribe, I can just go ahead and do that from here. So that is how your SNS basically works. It's a notification service, which is basically sending notifications to me. After that, I can just go ahead and delete the subscription from here. No problem, right? So subscription is successfully deleted. And I can just go ahead to my topic and I can just go ahead and delete this topic from here, right? I can just say delete me and I can just go ahead and delete. So that is how you can simply delete as well. So that's how your SNS actually works. After that, let's quickly look into the use cases of SNS. So the famous use case is to push notifications, let's say SMS, email alerts, right? A notification can be pushed to user, let's say OTPs or delivery updates can be pushed at the single time. After that, microservices eventing, we can decouple microservices. So order service will publish the event to it's inventory service, billing service, notification service, right? 
so many services which are subscribed to this particular publisher so that we can do at one go after that fan out messaging one event can be sent to multiple systems so once someone uploads a file we can just trigger lambda we can notify we can push to analytics right so we are doing three tasks at once on the event which is basically upload a file so these are basically simple use cases of your sns and this also triggers a famous question that is what is the difference between sqs and sns now now if you observe sns is basically pushing your notifications to your consumers so sns is push based on the other hand consumers need to pull the message from sqs so sqs is basically pull based right so that is basically the quick difference between sqs and sns so we have seen what exactly is sns we have seen the key features while looking into demo we have seen and so on demo and we have seen use cases as well we have seen use cases right so that is basically a simple service well that's pretty much it for sns if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to code snippet share this video with your friends so that they are also aware about aws sns that's it for this video see you in the next video